I put them first above Tarek. Well, he's number one too, but I put them before me and my needs. Like, Obviously you have such a good relationship with Tarek's kids. I mean, going into this, was that something that made you nervous? Were you nervous about maybe potentially being a stepmom? I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like I fell in love with Tarek from the very beginning, like so in love with him that it was something that never even crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. And I think most women, they'd probably be nervous to come into a situation with an ex and kids and custody and um, raising children. But for me, like I was so in love that I committed myself 100% to Tarek and the kids. And, you know, I met the kids, I met his whole family. And then literally a week later, I was living there, moved in. And it was never like this big issue. Like it just, it just fit so well. And Taylor and I became like best friends from the very beginning. Brayden and I, it took a little bit longer to get really close with him. But now like him and I are just, we're best friends. We're, we're, we're besties. I love that. I mean, why would you say it took Brayden maybe a little bit longer to kind of warm up to you? Because obviously it's a big change for the kids as well. I think because he was three when I met him and I'm this new girl coming in and mm -hmm. I don't think he obviously being three didn't understand who I am and what I'm, you know, I'm living at the house now with them and, um, but honestly, like about probably 10 months ago, I really like fully committed my time to raising the kids and being there with them and, um, we're just such a tight family now and it's so special to watch them grow. I've never seen children grow up in front of my eyes. And, you know, I met Brayden when he was three, Taylor was eight, and now they're 10 and five going on 11 and six. And every week we get them back, like I get to see them changing and Brayden's growing and he's curious and he's asking questions. And it's so fun to watch their minds work and the things that they're learning, it's so cute. I've never experienced this before and it's so special. I love that. I love it. Did they ever give you, besides like, you know, Brayden a little bit in the beginning, did you ever face any challenges as a stepmom? And what advice for new stepmoms would you give? Honestly, I never had any challenges um, at all coming into Tarek's family, like even with the kids and his family, like it just, we just fit so well together. There was never like that period where they had to get used to me. I mean, besides, you know, Brayden, maybe like he was a baby, you know, he was still right, a young, but no, there was never hiccups. We, we haven't had issues. It's so just great. like, I just kind of moved myself in and um, we became this cute little family. But, you know, I think the challenges of being a stepmom is, well, first, I never thought I'd be a stepmom. I never <laughs> thought I'd be, you know, raising kids. And it's just the most fulfilling thing I've ever done in my life. They're so special to me. And I put them first above myself. I put them first above Tarek. Well, he's number one too, but I put them before me and my needs. Like this morning, Taylor forgot her guitar. She was at her mom's house, but we have her guitar here. She forgot her guitar. So she calls me, Heather, can you bring my guitar? And I'm like, you know, I have work, I'm filming, I'm doing this. And, and I'm like, okay. So I throw on my slippers. I run out of the house, no bra on hair, like hat, like forgot my sunscreen. And I run to the school to like drop off her guitar. Um, I think the hardest thing is I'm raising humans mm -hmm. and I've never raised a human before. I don't, I, I never had the time to prepare to be a stepmom bonus mom. Yeah. Most moms, you know, they have time, they're carrying the baby, they prep to be a mom. I never had that prep time. I was just thrown into it completely. And coming from a life that didn't have, you know, I was up in LA, I was doing real estate, mm -hmm. I was modeling, and now I'm a, a you know, stepmom raising children. I have. A, you know, a future husband and it's, it's a lot to juggle and it's a mm -hmm. lot to manage. And I think I'm doing a pretty rock star job, yeah. but <laughs> I have moments of stress. Obviously I think being a mom, being a stepmom, being a bonus mom, stress happens and it's kind of like navigating through those challenges. And they ask me questions and sometimes I'm like, how do I explain this to them that they understand? So I think just not being able to prep to be a mom, mm -hmm. I think just being thrown into it has been the hardest thing. Definitely. I mean, you guys are doing a, a fantastic job. I mean, you make it look so easy. And, you know, obviously you have a relationship with Christina as well. I mean, was that ever intimidating, awkward in the beginning, or was it kind of like an easy transition with her as well? Well, Tarek and Christina have a really good uh, relationship for the kids and they've made what, what I respect so much about both of them is no matter what they've gone through, which, you know, everyone saw, <laughs> there's a lot of things out there, but no matter what they've gone through, they always put the kids number one. Mm -hmm. And that's the same with me and that's the same with Christina, that's the same with Tarek, even to this day, 
like the kids are number one, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So we co-parent very well, we communicate very well, and we know that the most important thing is Taylor and Brayden. Definitely. I mean, what would you say is the key to your successful co-parenting? Just that you guys are always like in communication or kind of always on the same page? Yeah, we communicate every day about the kids, um, either, you know, through text or in person. And I think just helping each other out when we need it. If she needs a little bit more help and or I need a little bit more help, we help each other. If we need to borrow something, we let each other borrow things. And, um, y you know, it, it's like, like I said, the most important thing are the babies. And so I think above anything else, any issues, they're number one. So yeah, her and I, you know, we get along great. I think she's a great mom and, I think she sees how much I love the kids and I would do anything for them. So yeah, everything's great. We're co-parenting very well. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's all you can expect. I'm sure she loves how much you love her, her kids. I hope so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>